False introduction, in the new century, humans are no longer dominated by blue stars, surrounded by monsters. There are terrifying zombies wandering the wilderness, endless, there are mutated monsters occupying the city, extremely poor and vicious, more extraterrestrial beasts have descended on the surface, sweeping across the eight wildernesses. Abyss interface, zombie universe, extraterrestrial world when the bonfire of human civilization reignited and the light of evolution illuminated the earth, people realized that everything had just begun, true introduction, I'm not really an evolutionist. Someone sighed helplessly. Behind him, the evolutionists stared blankly at Su Chi, who had stepped on the black seeking jade, wielded the Tyanima spear, had blue reincarnation eyes, and was surrounded by green flames. Just now, a golden sword struck and killed the abyss monarch. Before saying this, please move your feet away from the face of the demon god. Hey! They all cried. Keywords of the novel. Evolutionary Era Opening Awakening, Rebirth I, No Pop-Ups, Evolutionary Era Opening Awakening, Rebirth I, TXT Complete Collection Download, Evolutionary Era Opening Awakening, Rebirth I Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 The Day of Awakening You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 The Day of Awakening in the Scorching Summer of the 94th Year of the New Century Xijiang Bay City, Xijiang No. 2 Middle School Today is a special day, not only for Xijiang No. 2 Middle School, but also for the entire Xijiang Bay City. Class 1, Lu Mingwei, Failed to Awaken. Class 1, Wang Guangming, Failed Awakening. Class 1, Zhao Ritian, Failed to Awaken. On the playground, gongs and drums were blaring, firecrackers were blaring, and people were crowded. Countless people eagerly awaited, their eyes fixed on the center of the playground without blinking, staring at the ongoing awakening ceremony. The high school seniors who are currently awakening need not mention that they are all sweating nervously. And the younger students who were watching from outside, as well as the masses from all walks of life, were also shaking their heads. All failures are failures. What's wrong with this session of Xijiang No. 2 Middle School? Why hasn't anyone awakened to success so far? It doesn't make sense. Even though the probability of awakening superpowers is generally low, the success rate in previous years has always been around 10%. Why are there more than 20 people this year, and not a single one has succeeded? Perhaps all of my luck was consumed by the previous one, ahaha. <laughs> not to mention, it's really possible. Last year's Xijiang No. 1 Middle School was truly magnificent, with a golden phoenix. Who wouldn't envy it all in the scorching summer? On the contrary, almost no other universities in Xijiang Bay City have produced any talented individuals. This is the sacrifice of the entire Bay City's luck that nurtured that golden phoenix. As the awakening ceremony gradually passed, more than 20 awakeners failed to successfully awaken their superpowers and become evolutionists, causing the onlookers to start whispering. The atmosphere on site suddenly became a bit strange, occasionally mixed with a hint of inexplicable laughter. At this moment, the leaders of Xijiang No. 2 Middle School on the stands also furrowed their brows and looked down at the ongoing awakening ceremony, feeling anxious. However, fortunately, this situation did not last too long. Class 1, Zhou Yang, Successful Awakening The awakening superpower is Explosive Redness Grade Military Level With the passionate voice of the host of the awakening ceremony, it immediately caught the attention of everyone present. On the awakening stage, a young man known as Zhou Yang looked at the orange flames popping up in his hands, his expression first shocked, then turned into ecstasy. I succeeded. I have awakened my superpowers and become an evolutionist. The emotions of surprise filled his brain, making him dizzy and forgetting to let go of the flames in his hand. The orange flames contain explosive power, and the scorching atmosphere permeates, causing the temperature of the entire playground to rise by a few degrees. This is superpower. Extraordinary power. Success. Finally, there's someone who has awakened successfully. 
I thought a class would end up with nothing. The first successful one is the superpower of military level. This is the pace of takeoff for Xijiang No. 2 High School. Jealousy separates me from the wall. Looking at the orange flames in Zhou Yang's hands, everyone was stunned for a moment, and then burst into bursts of exclamation. Countless envious, shocked and complex gazes looked at Zhou Yang, unable to calm down for a long time. Explosive Red Flame, ranked 86th on the superpower sequence table, has elemental flame-type superpowers and a powerful flame with extremely strong explosive energy. Grade, Military Level This means that the upper limit of this superpower is extremely high, and when fully mastered and used, its power is enough to rival thousands of soldiers and horses, with one person equivalent to a million soldiers. Completely surpassing ordinary superpowers is a coveted ability by many evolutionists. No wonder everyone was so shocked. Ha ha ha, good. On the stands, the leaders of Xijiang No. 2 Middle School were also smiling, sweeping away their previous worries. The difficulty of awakening military-level superpowers is extremely high, and it is difficult to find one out of a hundred evolutionists, making it a genius among them. If they can have Zhou Yang in this session of Xijiang No. 2 Middle School, it is enough to explain to the higher authorities. Moreover, this is the first successful awakening, and the awakening ceremony has just begun, with hundreds of students waiting to awaken. The opening of Tian Xian has made the leaders of Xijiang No. 2 Middle School feel lively, hoping that more evolutionists will be born in the future. If we could have another military-level superpower, it would be perfect the leaders thought it was beautiful, but the reality is clearly not as beautiful. The next group of students who awakened all failed, and in the end, they awakened again and succeeded. Class 1, Jia Tengeying, Successful Awakening Super Ability for Finger Enhancement, Regular Level The crowd was first startled, then heard the awakened superpower and burst into laughter. Finger Enhancement, the most common superpower, ranks 215th on the superpower sequence list. As the name suggests, it can only strengthen one finger and is more useful than nothing. Jia Tengeying's face on the awakening stage also turned red and white, and the joy of successfully awakening at first dissipated. She walked down dejected. At this point, all 66 students from class 1 of Xijiang No. 2 High School have awakened, and only two have succeeded. Another is the useless waste material superpower, which can be said to have set a historic low success rate. However, the leaders don't care, after all, a weekday is already worth the ticket price. What else do you need for a bicycle? Ha ha ha, I'm laughing to death, Brother Chi. Look at Jia Tengeying's expression at the beginning. When he heard that he had successfully awakened, he was about to jump up, but in the end, it turned out to be the last few useless abilities in the ranking. The Awakener camp is divided into blocks according to class, with a total of 10 blocks, which means there are 10 classes participating in the Awakening. In one of the square lineups, a chubby man with a round figure couldn't help but burst into laughter, his small eyes narrowed into a slit, looking at the disheartened Jia Tengeying with a hint of schadenfreude. Beside him, also known as Qi Gu Er, was a teenager with a much more normal figure, with a straight back like a pine and cypress, standing upright. Su Qi glanced at Jia Tengeying, who was feeling disheartened not far away, and casually said. What's wrong with finger reinforcement? That's also a superpower. As long as it is a superpower, one can practice the technique of evolution guidance, absorb the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, promote their own life evolution, and gradually become stronger. They will still be a hundred times stronger than us in the future. If we can't even awaken our superpowers. Don't underestimate the village chief as a cadre. No matter how useless the material is, it is also an extraordinary power that surpasses most ordinary people. Upon hearing this, Tang Ju's proud face suddenly drooped. He had some conflicts with Jia Tengeying before and never dealt with him in school. Just now, I saw that he had awakened one of the few superpowers at the bottom of the ranking, and without thinking about anything, I started to mock him. But I didn't expect that I hadn't started awakening yet. 
If I hadn't successfully awakened, I would still be an ordinary person, and it would be a world of difference from an evolutionist. It's too early to be happy now, Chiga, do you think we can awaken superpowers? At the thought of this, Tang never became confident and asked himself in a low voice, who should be quiet. Upon hearing this, Su Qi didn't even lift his eyelids and casually said. Who knows, but only a very small number of people are able to awaken to success. Most people should not expect it. After graduation, let's honestly enter a factory. A 10% chance of awakening blocks most people from moving towards the path of evolution. In this generation of over 600 people, it is estimated that only a few dozen of them will eventually awaken and become evolutionists. The average number of students in a class is 5 or 6, which is too low. Tang Ju's face collapsed. Although he knew that the author of the novel was the most realistic situation in reality, he was still unwilling to accept it. How many people are actually willing? In the new century, crises abound, monsters surround us, and human civilization is no longer dominated by the blue stars that used to stand high and at the top. There are countless monsters outside that can threaten the survival of human civilization. In this environment, the evolutionists are the most popular and high-dot-ranking group of people. Because they possess extraordinary power and powerful abilities to protect themselves, defend their homes, and safeguard human civilization. The Day of Awakening is the most important time for everyone, through the awakening ceremony, to test whether they have the qualifications to become evolutionists. By awakening one's superpowers, one can become an evolutionist, wielding extraordinary power and practicing evolution guidance techniques, enhancing one's strength and life level, and becoming a human being. And failed. I can only become an ordinary person and spend my whole life huddled under the protection of human civilization, relying on the protection of evolutionists and living a mediocre life. Two outcomes, two lives. Cold and real. So in the new century, everyone yearns to awaken their own superpowers, yearn to become an evolutionist, and step onto another level from then on. Unfortunately, reality is cruel. A success rate of 10% determines that most people's dreams can only be imagined in their dreams Su Qi couldn't help but sigh at the thought of this. They are whispering here, while over there, on the awakening stage, the awakening ceremony is still ongoing. A group of 66 people, awakened, and only 2 people succeeded in the end. Class 2 has 66 people, but the result is slightly better than Class 1. Six people have successfully awakened, but the quality is not high. All of them are ordinary level superpowers and generally rank below 200 on the superpower sequence table. Class 3 is also similar, with five people successfully awakening. There are seven in Class 4, five in Class 5, and six in Class 6. As time passed, all six classes had awakened, giving birth to a total of 31 evolutionists. Among them, 30 are just the most ordinary superpowers, only Zhou Yang is a powerful superpower at the military level. This shows the rarity of military level superpowers. Next is class 7, please all awakened individuals come forward. Finally, when they arrived at Su Qi's class, the 66 members of class 7 heard the call of the teacher in charge of the awakening ceremony and were all excited, with both longing and deep hidden worries in their eyes. Let's go. Su Qi didn't hesitate much, patted Tang Ju's shoulder beside him, and followed the footsteps of his classmates in front of him. Dead vertically and horizontally, it's better to die early than late. Tang Pangzi gritted his teeth and stomped his feet to catch up with Su Qi's footsteps, his back looking disheveled, as if he had been executed. Class 7, Sun Rong, failed awakening. Class 7, Wang Li, failed awakening. Class 7, Chiu Bai, successfully awakened. Super abilities are strength enhancement, ordinary level. Soon, Su Qi and his class also began the awakening ceremony, one by one taking the stage and one failing. Occasionally, there is a successful, just ordinary level superpower that is difficult to impress. Finally, it was Su Qi's turn to take the stage. Whether it's a dragon or a worm, 
just look at this one. Su Chi took a slow breath, his gaze fixed, and he stepped onto the awakening platform. However, just as he followed the instructions of the host teacher and placed his hands on the white awakening crystal, ding. The charging progress of the Zhu Tian roulette is 100%, activation successful. Bind unique host. Su Chi. Scan mainland information completed, initialization of the Zhu Tian roulette is complete. Welcome, owner of the Wheel of Heaven. A series of messages rushed through Su Chi's mind, causing his body to tremble. Immediately, a terrifying gleam erupted in his eyes. It's been 18 years it has been 18 years since I came to this world, and this thing has been fully charged for 18 years. Now, finally has it been officially activated. That's right, he, Su Chi, ordinary and ordinary, he is a traveler. There is a system. The new book sets sail, seeking attention, comments, and recommendation tickets, in short, we are looking for anything and don't mind it. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Reincarnation I. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Reincarnation I Su Chi has been in this world for 18 years. Before that, he was an ordinary social worker on earth. An accident occurred, crossing into a parallel world that was extremely similar to earth but completely off track at a historical turning point. Blue Star. I have lived for 18 years since I was a baby and now I am 18 years old again. He has completely integrated into this world, rather than simply treating it as a different world. And this thing in his mind came with him here, making him think he was the chosen son in his golden finger. Unfortunately for 18 years, it has been reminding us that there is a lack of energy and that we need to replenish it. This replenishment has lasted for a full 18 years. 18 years. Do you know how I spent these 18 years? Do you know? Su Chi couldn't help but want to roar, he had been waiting for too long. Even though he no longer had expectations in his heart, from being arrogant at the beginning to becoming more and more Buddhist, who would have thought that on this most important day, he was surprised. Is it the wheel of the heavens? After calming down, Su Chi sank into consciousness and saw the true face of his golden finger, it's just a small chaotic wheel, gray and delicate, not very realistic to see. However, as Su Chi's consciousness approached, he was suddenly sucked in by a force and arrived at a space inside the wheel. Here is. Su Chi regained his senses, his conscious body resembling a physical entity, and he looked around in surprise. This is a gray space, surrounded by nothing but a huge wheel projected out, standing in the very center. Below the wheel, there is also a platform with a transparent energy ball on it. Simple, you can see everything at a glance. Su Chi digested the information in his mind and gradually understood what was in front of him. This wheel of the heavens, as the name suggests, is a mysterious wheel that walks through all the realms of the heavens. Due to some special reasons, he suffered an unprecedented heavy blow and had to hide it in his mind, relying on slowly absorbing the energy of heaven and earth to recover himself. And because of the selection of the roulette wheel, I was fortunate enough to become the only host of these celestial roulettes. The wheel of the heavens lacks intelligence, only executes some actions according to the most fundamental rules and procedures. Su Chi seemed lost in thought and did not doubt it. In fact, his doubts are of no use. He is just an ordinary person now, even if it is a trap, he has no choice but to jump. After all, he has also lived in this world for 18 years and is well aware of the importance of power. The chance of achieving a 10% awakening success rate with one's own body is too low. In this regard, Su Chi is still very self-aware, and the only thing he can rely on is the golden finger that he has been bound to since childhood. Based on the residual information of the Zhu Tian roulette, this thing is quite impressive and there are also many good things. As long as one can obtain one, it will not be difficult to establish oneself in this world. After a brief understanding of the information about the wheel of the heavens, Su Chi couldn't help but show a joyful expression on his face. 
looking at the most prominent giant will in this space, I saw a dazzling and divine radiance on it, exuding an extraordinary atmosphere. Upon closer inspection, one could see that the wheel was divided into 7,749 areas, each with different icons appearing. There are artifacts and cauldrons, magical treasures and swords, scrolls and ink, divine eyes and pupils each icon represents an extraordinary treasure or ability, some that Su Chi knows, while others do not. But each one had an extraordinary appearance, a majestic atmosphere, as if containing mysterious and mysterious fluctuations. Even though Su Chi is completely ignorant of the supernatural, he is well aware of the power of the treasure on this wheel. This made him extremely excited. So many treasures and prodigies from all the heavens and realms, if I get them all. Su Chi couldn't help but fantasize, as if seeing his beautiful vision of punching Nan Shan Kindergarten and kicking Bei Hai Nursing Home, invincible in both heaven and earth. Cough and cough. However, Despite not being young and having grown up in this world for 18 years, Su Chi quickly threw this abnormal emotion out of his mind. Unfortunately, currently I only have one chance to spin the roulette wheel for a lucky draw, which can be considered a beginner's benefit. Su Chi shook his head regretfully. The wheel of the heavens has already conveyed all the information to him, making him understand the specific purpose of this wheel. It's just a lottery. With the number of lucky draws, you can rotate the wheel to obtain these coveted mysterious treasures and supernatural powers from various heavens and worlds. However, the Zhu Tian roulette only gave Su Qi one free lottery opportunity, and if he wanted more, he needed to work hard to collect energy on his own. So this energy ball is used in this way. Su Qi reached out and touched the transparent energy ball in front of the roulette wheel. According to the roulette wheel rules, pure energy was continuously injected into the energy ball to charge it. Full of energy can earn one lucky draw. This is the only way to get a chance to win a lottery. The current situation is very straightforward. Su Qi seemed lost in thought. The reason why this celestial will chooses itself as its host is to help it collect energy faster, collect so dot called pure energy to repair itself. Because relying solely on it to absorb the spiritual energy of heaven and earth day and night is no longer enough to help it further recover. Or rather, the recovery speed is too slow, and the roulette wheel cannot tolerate such a recovery speed, so it has to find a host to help itself and Su Qi can also obtain the power he wants by collecting pure energy, which can be said to be a win.win -win cooperation. And Zhu Tian roulette had no intention of concealing it, openly revealing its purpose, so Su Qi was able to realize it at the first time. From this point of view, the wheel of the heavens is quite frank Su Qi suddenly burst out laughing. Anyway, this roulette wheel can be said to be beneficial but not harmful to oneself now, so there is no need to dwell on it so much. He calmed down and stopped thinking too much. Instead, he began to expect what kind of treasure ability he could draw. Turn. With his gaze fixed on the huge roulette in front of him, Su Qi's mind twitched and he used his only chance at the lottery now. Buzz. The huge wheel began to slowly rotate, and various divine lights illuminated the entire wheel space, creating a dazzling and dazzling glow. I don't want treasures or anything else for now. Give me an extraordinary ability that I can handle first. Su Qi silently prayed, his gaze never leaving the wheel for a moment. After a while, the roulette wheel gradually slowed down, and the golden hands began to be visible to the naked eye, passing through blocks and finally stopping on a pair of precious blue eye icons. This is. Su Chi widened his eyes. External, Awakening Platform. Su Chi stood in front of the awakening crystal, placing his hands on the crystal and closing his eyes. It seems like following the steps of the host teacher step by step to awaken superpowers, but in reality, consciousness has entered the wheel space. No matter how long it takes in the wheel space, the outside world is just a moment. So Su Qi was delayed for so long, because in the eyes of the outside world, he had just stepped onto the awakening platform. I don't know if Brother Qi can awaken his superpowers. Under the stage, Tang Pongzi, 
who was standing behind Su Chi, stood with a round belly and stared at the stage without blinking, praying for his good brother. Other people around were also staring at Su Chi with anticipation and a hint of complexity in their eyes. However, after a long time, the awakening crystal in front of Su Chi remained motionless and calm like water. Everyone on and off stage sighed, thinking it was another failed awakening. Only Tang never gave up and stared at Su Chi on stage. Just as the host teacher shook his head, thinking that Su Chi's awakening would end in failure. Radiance rises suddenly, the awakening crystal, which was originally motionless, suddenly seemed to be guided by some force and burst into a brilliant light. At the same time, Su Chi slowly opened his eyes, revealing a pair of magnificent blue eyes that seemed to contain infinite starry veins. Reincarnation I End of this chapter Chapter 3, 38th Place You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3, 38th Place What kind of eyes are those? The deep blue color of the whole body is like an infinite starry sky, and deep in the pupils, it seems to contain an entire universe. The silver-white veins extend from the center of the starry sky, revealing a mysterious and vast atmosphere that connects heaven and earth. This is the reincarnation eye. The supreme divine eye in the world of Hokage, on par with the eye of reincarnation, possesses the power to pry the entire planet and tear apart the universe. That's right, the only lucky draw given by the wheel of the heavens is Su Chi's soul, a golden legend, and a chance to reincarnate. Tianhu, start. Although the reincarnation eye may not be the strongest among all the abilities in the heavens and realms, at least its peak power is enough to reach explosive stars, which is completely sufficient in this new century. Su Chi is very satisfied with the lottery result this time, not only because of the powerful ability of the reincarnation eye, but also because it is handsome. As the saying goes, being strong or not is temporary, but being handsome or not is a lifelong matter. Not to mention that reincarnation is the perfect pupil technique that combines beauty and strength Su Chi was satisfied, but others in the external awakening ceremony were confused. Watching the awakening crystal suddenly burst into such a dazzling light, the fool also knew that Su Chi had successfully awakened. I thought this time was also the end of failure, but unexpectedly, Su Chi successfully awakened his superpowers at the last moment. Of course, this is not the point, the key is, what kind of superpower is this? I can't even recognize it. I'm the representative of the superpower class. The superpower sequence table has all 216 superpowers, so I can recite them all by heart. It looks like it's a pupil surgery superpower, but is there such a blue-eye pupil surgery in the superpower sequence table? It's a bit like the 88th ranked electro.optic eye in the superpower sequence, but shouldn't the electro.optic eye be blue.green? And there's no electro.optic thunder flowing in these eyes either. Isn't it a brand new superpower that has never appeared before? Seeing Su Qi's incredibly magnificent and mysterious deep blue reincarnation eyes, everyone in the audience froze and burst into exclamations of surprise. Even the host teacher and official staff were a bit confused and couldn't help but flip through the list of superpower sequences in their hands. Sky blue eyes, like starry sky, with white veins extending around the pupils, this characteristic of eyes. The host teacher was busy flipping through the list of superpowers in his hand, muttering, as if trying to find a superpower that matched his characteristics. Originally, with his level of expertise in researching superpowers for over a decade, he should be familiar with all the superpowers that have emerged since the new century. But at this moment, he still seemed a bit flustered because he couldn't believe it. Since the official revision of the superpower sequence table by the Evolutioners Association, there have been no new superpowers discovered for 20 years now. Now, surprisingly, a brand new superpower in the field of pupillary surgery has reappeared. This surprised and surprised him very much. As is well known, although there are many types of superpowers, there are a total of 216. But overall, it can still be divided into two categories based on the characteristics of superpowers. 
Element Control and Ontology Reinforcement The elemental class goes without saying, awakening the superpowers of heaven and earth elements such as water, fire, wind, thunder, and ice are collectively referred to as the elemental class. Zhou Yang, who was awakened in the previous class, also belongs to the elemental category and belongs to the fire elemental superpower against military level explosive red inflammation. Ontological reinforcement refers to various superpowers exhibited by evolutionists through their own physical reinforcement or mutation. Things like strength enhancement, speed enhancement, physical activation, wolf like, finger enhancement, etc., all belong to the category of ontological reinforcement. And the pupillary surgery born from the mutation of both eyes naturally belongs to the category of ontology enhancement superpowers, and is an extremely rare and powerful superpower in the ontology category. Any pupil surgery type superpower has no lower ranking, with the lowest level being at the military level, and even higher dot level superpowers such as city level and national level. Even now, the highest ranked pupil surgery superpower has entered the category of boundary level and ranks in the top 10 of the entire superpower sequence list. For the realm level, it means that its pupil power is fully exerted, enough to cause huge damage to the entire world, and may even lead to the destruction of the planet and the extinction of humanity. This is the value of the three words, Dugia level. The upper limit of pupillary surgery is so high, and the lower limit is beyond the reach of ordinary people, against military level, indicating the potential of awakened pupillary surgery. So every pupil awakener is the envy of countless evolutionists and a coveted asset of the Evolutioner Association. Not to mention, what Su Chi is currently awakening is a brand new pupil technique that has never appeared before. All these things made Su Chi the most beautiful cub in the room. A superpower that has never appeared before. Or is it pupillary surgery? As the news spread, countless gazes turned to Su Qi, filled with shock and envy. Even the leaders of Xijiang No. 2 Middle School on the stands were overjoyed. This is a pupillary superpower, the lowest level is also at the military level, and it may even be at a higher level of city level. Previously, they were already overjoyed by a burst of red inflammation at the military level, but now a powerful pupil technique with a higher grade has emerged. The leaders of Xijiang No. 2 Middle School only felt that it was a pie falling from the sky, causing them to feel dizzy. It should be noted that in the previous awakening conferences of Xijiang No. 2 Middle School, almost all of them were awakened ordinary level superpowers, and there were few military level superpowers born. It often takes several sessions to have one. Surprisingly, two of them appeared at once in this edition. Even Su Qi's pupil technique may have a higher grade. After all, it is a brand new superpower that has never appeared before, so the ranking of this pupil technique cannot be determined temporarily. A brand new superpower, its ranking is difficult to define. After all, the existing 216 superpowers are based on the abilities and power demonstrated by generations of evolutionists who have continuously cultivated, improved, developed, and applied them, ultimately gaining global recognition and being able to define rankings. The newly born superpowers have no development records or theoretical data, and can only be ranked based on Su Qi's future performance, the level of development of these eyes, and the power demonstrated. Although it cannot be accurately defined, it is still possible to make an initial ranking based on the abilities acquired at the time of initial awakening. The host teacher is a senior lecturer at Xijiang No. 2 Middle School and also an awakening teacher at the Yenxia Xijiang branch of the Evolutioner Association. After the surprise, he quickly regained his professional attitude and began a rough test of the abilities of Su Qi's eyes. Su Qi also understood this process and cooperated very well, showing off his ability to reincarnate it's just that I kept a hand on it. After a series of tests, the host teacher was extremely excited and looked at the test results in front of him, which was truly eye-opening, super ability. Reincarnation I Category Ontology Pupil Surgery External Features the pupils are overall bright blue, like an infinite starry sky, with white veins extending from it, 
which is incredibly mysterious. Ability 1. Possessing excellent dynamic vision and insight, able to see the most subtle aspects of things. Ability 2. Possess farsightedness and the ability to see subtle things one kilometer away. Ability 3. Able to freely manipulate gravity and repulsion, able to lift 100 kilograms of objects through gravity during initial awakening, with significant room for improvement in the future. The specific limit is unknown. Evaluation. An extremely powerful pupillary technique that combines reconnaissance, attack, defense, combat, and assistance. It is a perfect ability, and since it has never appeared before, it is speculated that there are still other abilities that need to be developed and awakened, with an extremely high upper limit. Initial level. City level plus dot. Initial ranking. 38th place. End of this chapter. Chapter 4. Shocking the entire audience. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 4 Shocking the entire audience Initial ranking, ranked 38th in the superpower sequence table. Grade, city level. The test results shocked everyone present immediately. Sleeping trough, facing city level. The initial ranking is against the city level, and this pupil technique is quite outrageous. And the ranking is still 38th, which can be considered one of the pinnacle of all city-level superpowers. The 36th place in the superpower sequence table is considered the threshold for national level, the 38th place. It's really ranked second at the city level. Flying to the sky, another soaring master. Jealousy has separated me from the wall. The whole scene was in a uproar. The main reason is that this ranking is too high, ranking second at the city level, not only at Xijiang No. 2 Middle School, but even in the entire Xijiang Bay City, and even within the entire summer range, it can be considered as a first dot class powerful superpower. Zhou Yang before the explosion. It seems that it's our turn to transport the goods to Xijiang No. 2 Middle School this year. A leader's face was beaming with joy, and he was quite proud. The same goes for other leaders around us. Xijiang Bay City is very large, with a population of tens of millions and dozens of higher education institutions. There is an invisible competition between every university, and the competition is for the trained evolutionists. The more evolutionists are trained, the better their qualifications are, and the more benefits universities can receive, with more resources tilted towards them. Of course, among all the colleges and universities in Xijiang Bay City, the more prestigious they are, the more they can walk with confidence. Especially Xijiang No. 1 Middle School, it can be said that they are old rivals of Xijiang No. 2 Middle School. No one was able to compete with Xijiang in the previous competition, after all, they had a great fortune and produced such unparalleled talents. Thousands of colleges and universities in the entire summer cannot compete with them, and they have nothing to say. But this year, there is still a high possibility that Xijiang No. 2 High School will win the top spot. The city-level superpower ranks third among all levels, only behind the boundary level and national level. In fact, there have only been ten types of world-level superpowers in history, and there are still no more than one hand of them in today's era, which is too few. A second-class opponent at the national level, also at the pinnacle of superpowers, possessing the terrifying power to destroy a country with all one's might. That is also a strategic level existence, very rare, and a national treasure. So, don't underestimate the third-class city level, which is already the highest level that conventional evolutionists can come into contact with. Even with full force, one can destroy a large city, which belongs to the top level. The five major levels of superpower sequence table, the vast majority of evolutionists awaken only the fifth level. Ordinary level superpowers. Starting from the fourth level. Military level, it has already belonged to the category of genius, almost one in a hundred. It is already satisfying to have a military level superpower awakener born in an ordinary college or a awakening conference. If there could be a city level superpower awakened, then the leaders of the institution could wake up with a smile in their dreams. 
As for going further up. The pure ancestral tomb emits smoke, I don't know how much energy has been sacrificed to give birth to a person. In the last year's session of Shijiang No. 1 Middle School, I don't know which leader of the university emitted smoke from the ancestral tomb, directly suppressing the national universities and winning the championship in one fell swoop. I envy the leaders of Shijiang No. 2 Middle School, my old rival. But there's no other way, after all, the leader last year was really a demon, and no one can match him. He is widely recognized as a peerless pride in the scorching summer. But now, Su Qi's appearance also gives them a glimmer of hope. The initial ranking was determined by the awakening master sent by the Evolutioners Association as the 38th place on the superpower sequence table. The second place on the city level. And it's a brand new pupil surgery that has never appeared before. Su Qi's potential is definitely comparable to that of a national level evolutionist. The leaders were extremely excited and finally saw a glimmer of hope for their former shame. Although they were certainly not as good as the one from Xijiang No. 1 Middle School last year, they were no less than the top ranked talents in the country. This year's scorching summer competition, our Xijiang No. 2 Middle School is bound to advance to the finals. Su Qi, this kid, has taken a step to the sky now. Even the students in class 7 didn't expect Su Qi to awaken such a high level of superpower, and everyone envied him. However, Su Qi Chang is handsome and tall, ranking among the top in various courses and practical exercises in the class. In addition, his unique temperament makes everything around him appear incredibly indifferent. So he is still very popular in the class, and both boys and girls can enjoy it. At this time, there are not many people jumping out to find discomfort and add to the traffic. As the teachers and students in the audience exclaimed with envy, the protagonist on stage, Su Qi, remained calm. Is it at the city level? He smiled slightly and inadvertently fell in love with a large group of innocent girls. Just as I thought. In line with the idea of keeping one hand, Su Qi consciously retained his strength in the test and did not present all the data. For example, the second ability recorded by the awakening teacher. The ability to see fine things from a kilometer away with a far-sighted eye. In fact, the farthest distance that Su Qi's awakened reincarnation eye can see is 10 kilometers, and it is 360 degree without blind spots and can see through everything in the middle. Even when Su Qi concentrated his pupils and looked in one direction, his ultimate distance could be doubled, with the farthest distance visible up to 100 kilometers away. This ability alone is enough to make countless evolutionists envious. Many ordinary level superpowers only have one function, either long dot range or perspective, and the distance is not too far from the beginning. The reincarnation eyes possess all their abilities as soon as they awaken, and their intensity is not at the same level. There is also gravity and repulsion, which are the fundamental abilities of the reincarnation eye. The pupil power of the reincarnation eye is unparalleled, and its ability to manipulate gravitational repulsion is even stronger than that of the reincarnation eye, and can even affect the movement trajectory of planets. Even if it was just the first awakening, Su Qi's physical strength was not enough to unleash the power of his reincarnated pupils, and he could easily move a thousand pounds of boulders, and his body was no problem. If you really want to define the ranking of the reincarnation eye, there is no doubt that the reincarnation eye is the highest, boundary level, superpower. However, the current evaluation of the city level is still acceptable, which is more in line with Su Qi's low dot key personality, he he, Su Qi, congratulations on your successful awakening in becoming a great evolutioner. As Su Qi pondered in his heart, the awakening teacher who had recorded the initial data of the reincarnation eye beside him also calmed down. Smiling, he looked at Su Qi and then reached out to hand him a white medal. This is your evolutioner medal. I have inputted your basic information, and in the future, you will need to go to the Evolutioner Association to handle level upgrades yourself. Su Qi took this seemingly exquisite medal and was a bit curious. Is this the exclusive medal that only evolutioners can possess? From now on, I am also an evolutionist. End of this chapter
Chapter 5 Closing You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Closing After experiencing the shocking event of Su Chi's awakening and the emergence of a new pupil technique. Ranking 38th in the superpower sequence table, and reaching the second highest level in the city level with a leap in grade. The atmosphere of the entire awakening conference suddenly surged, and everyone felt excited and eager to try. It seems that they also want to awaken a brand new superpower and become the most beautiful cub in the school in one fell swoop. However, Class 7, Tang Ju, failed awakening. The next Tang Ju, Tang Fatty, who came on stage, confidently went up and came down dejected. Wu Wu, Brother Chi, I'm done, I've failed. Tang Ponzi, with his flesh rolling, immediately hugged Su Chi and cried, feeling extremely sad. All right, you old man, don't be like a little girl. Are you disgusting? Su Chi pushed him away in disgust, lowered his head, and his clothes were all in tears. This is my favorite piece of clothing. Chigur, if you don't comfort me and still dislike me, it will fade away, and my feelings will fade away. Tang Ju's round face, full of collagen, was filled with accusations, as if Su Chi had done something wrong to him. Su Chi turned a blind eye. Seeing that he couldn't be deceived, Tang Ju acted like a magician, quickly putting away his crying face and shaking his head with a sigh. Alas, it's over. The awakening failed and I couldn't become an evolutionist. It seems that I can only go back and inherit the family property of my old man, and become an ordinary wealthy second dot generation. Such a Versailles speech made Su Chi's eyes twitch, almost wanting to slap him to death. Ordinary. Wealthy second dot generation. Cough, let me introduce it again, Tang Ju, Tang Fatty, his childhood, from childhood to adulthood, he was nothing but wealthy. His father is the richest man in Xijiang Bay City, with a net worth of billions. Even in the entire hot summer land, he is still the top billionaire. Being able to start from scratch and create such a great family business in the new century when the evolutionists are big, Tang's father is naturally a legendary figure, and his experience can be called a legend. It is said that the evolutionists working under Tang's father can now form a small dot scale army. It can definitely be considered as a powerful party. What is a non-awakened superpower? Even if they awaken their superpowers, they are likely just ordinary level evolutionists. In front of a big shot like Tang Dad, they are nothing. And in the future, Tang Ju, who will inevitably inherit the Tang group, was born a winner and won at the starting line, much stronger than some ordinary evolutionists. So Su Qi is not at all saddened by his failure to awaken his superpowers. It's those from ordinary families who haven't awakened, okay. At this time, the awakening conference is still ongoing. However, after Su Qi, Class 7 did not perform well and only awakened two ordinary superpowers. The next eight classes and nine classes are similar, with only five or six ordinary level superpowers born. Contributed an average value to the 10% awakening probability on the other hand, the 10th class, which was the last to appear, unexpectedly gave birth to two geniuses, class 10, Wang Jiajia, successful awakening. Superpowers are controlled by gravity. Ranked 81st in the superpower sequence table. Grade. Military level. Class 10, Wang Yuanyuan, successful awakening. Superpowers are controlled by repulsion. Ranked 82nd in the superpower sequence table. Grade. Military level. The voice of awakening teacher rang out again, with a hint of surprise, echoing throughout the room. For a moment, everyone around turned their gaze to the two little girls on the awakening stage. Two successful attempts at once. Are they all military level superpowers? Excellent. But why do these two superpowers sound so familiar? After being shocked, some people tasted it and then coincidentally looked at Su Chi from Class 7. If I remember correctly, this guy's newly awakened superpower. The pupillary technique he called the reincarnation eye. 
seems to contain both gravitational and repulsive abilities Su Qi looked at everyone looking at him, his eyes complicated and a bit awkward. He coughed lightly and didn't open his eyes. Demons. At this moment, people first intuitively felt the value of the second superpower at the city level the basic ability of Taemo is at the military level, and it also includes two at once. Still that sentence, jealousy has separated me from the wall. Amidst the strange gazes, the two protagonists on the awakening stage also slightly restrained their excitement and pouted in anger. Wang Jiajia and Wang Yuanyuan are a pair of sisters. They are good-looking, cute and handsome. They are also popular in school. At this moment, he also awakened his superpowers, which were at the top of the military level, undoubtedly dazzling and enviable. If it were the previous awakening conference, they would definitely be the most beautiful offspring of Shijiang No. 2 Middle School, but unfortunately now that Su Kazuyu is in front, her reincarnation eyes grade has completely surpassed her, and the people around her are not so surprised anymore. Ha ha ha, good. Only the leaders in the stands burst into laughter. The ancestral tomb is emitting green smoke. In this awakening conference, they surprisingly gave birth to four talents at or above the military level at once, and even among them were city-level talents like Su Qi. This is definitely the most glorious session in the history of Xijiang No. 2 Middle School. Even in the entire summer, all universities may be able to rank among the top. These are all political achievements, they belong to their current leadership, and they can fully show their face in front of them. The 28th Awakening Conference of Xijiang No. 2 Middle School has officially ended, with a total of 666 participants and 56 successful awakeners. Among them, 52 are at the regular level, 3 are at the military level, and 1 person at the city level, with a brand new pupillary superpower. Finally, after everyone had awakened, the awakening master standing on the high awakening platform officially announced the list of awakenings. The passionate voice rose and fell, full of power and infectiousness, making everyone in the audience sigh. There are unwillingness and bitterness that have not yet awakened, envy and jealousy towards students who have successfully awakened, and confusion about the future in summary, their future has taken two completely different paths from this moment on. The awakened and successful evolutionist possesses superpowers, embarks on the path of evolution, rises step by step, and becomes the aristocrat of the new century, surpassing ordinary people. And those who fail to awaken, without any accidents, can only engage in some simple work, work hard every day to support their families, be mediocre, and never have the chance to leave the base city for a lifetime. Cruel yet realistic. And this is the fate of most ordinary people in the new century's human civilization. Evolutioners possess power and shoulder the responsibility of guarding human civilization, and naturally should also enjoy higher treatment and status. Su Qi had a clear understanding of this earlier. So he is extremely eager for power, eager to become extraordinary. In this dangerous new century, he is naturally cautious and does not want to entrust his own and his family's lives to others. After all, human hearts are unpredictable, and only by mastering one's own strength can one make them feel at ease. The reincarnation I is undoubtedly his greatest confidence in facing this dangerous world right now. New Year's Book, Vote Up, Brothers, End of this Chapter Chapter 6 Initial Fame you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6 Initial Fame According to the latest report from Xijiang TV, at exactly 17.00 this afternoon, our city's awakening conference this year officially came to a successful end. At this awakening ceremony, more than 28,000 people from 42 universities in our city participated in the awakening ceremony. In the end, 2,794 evolutionists were successfully awakened, with a awakening probability of 9.97%, maintaining the average success rate of previous awakenings. Among them, there are 152 military-level superpower awakeners, accounting for 5.4% of all evolutionists and setting a new historical high. What surprised us the most was that this awakening conference also gave birth to two geniuses who awakened their city-level superpowers. 
Among them, Su Qi, a classmate from Xijiang No. 2 Middle School, has awakened a brand new superpower. This is the 217th superpower awakened since the rise of human civilization, and the only completely new superpower discovered by human civilization in the past 20 years. This new pupillary technique, named the reincarnation eye by the awakened Su Qi, has great potential. It was determined by the awakening master of the Evolutioners Association to have an initial grade of city level and ranked 38th on the superpower sequence table. The awakening conference had just ended, and the official television station in Xijiang Base City had quickly sorted out the relevant data of this year's awakening conference and released it through evening news as soon as possible. For a moment, tens of millions of people in the entire Xijiang Base City were aware of this result, causing a huge uproar in various circles. There is nothing to say about the 9.97% success rate of awakening, which is not much different from previous years. But the probability of military-level superpowers appearing has reached 5.4%, which is much higher than the average level of 2% in previous years. Even two city-level superpowers appeared, which surprised people from all walks of life in Xijiang Base City. And the appearance of the newly reported reincarnated pupil surgery also shook their minds and left them stunned. The initial ranking was set as second to city level, ranking 38th. What does this represent? The Evolutioners Association highly values this newly emerged pupillary technique, believing that its potential is extremely high, even barely comparable to the national level superpowers. For national level. This is the pinnacle superpower that has been highly valued throughout the summer, unleashing its full power to destroy a country. Once grown, it can have a significant impact on the world order, even reaching the level of a legislator. This kind of demon genius is hard to come by, let alone Xijiang Base City. Even if we look at the entire summer, thousands of universities and hundreds of thousands of evolutionists may not be able to give birth to one. Last year, the person from number one middle school had already made Xijiang Base City look very popular nationwide. Has it finally been the turn of Xijiang number two middle school to take action this year? Ranked second at the city level, with a potential that is faintly approaching that of the national level, this talent is already extremely high. Although not as high as last year's, it can still rank among the top in the country. In the past two years, our Xijiang Bay City's transportation system has been good, and we have been able to make a name for ourselves nationwide for two consecutive terms. Su Qi's brand new pupil technique, coupled with his classmate city-level superpowers, may even make it to the final of this year's Flame Summer competition, and we can still compete for the top spot. It's possible, but it also depends on the awakening situation of other universities across the country. If they also show some good signs, it's hard to say. Well, especially the top universities in the imperial capital have a deep foundation. Every year, some arrogant figures emerge and it's difficult to compete with them for the top spot. That's what I said, but there's still hope. We have Su Qi and that. Well, what's the name of another student who awakens his city-level superpowers? I don't know, it seems there hasn't been any report. Dot. Damn it. Where did Su Qi come from? How dare he steal Ben Xiao's attention? In the luxurious single-family villa of Nanching District. Lin Su was so angry that he almost cursed while watching the evening news broadcasted on TV. Why? Similarly, for city-level superpowers, how could Su Qi's name be brought out separately and repeatedly mentioned? And he, the most charming and charming young master of the Lin family in the famous Xijiang Bay City, with a jade tree in the wind and a graceful demeanor do you not even deserve a name? Originally awakened to his city-level superpowers, Lin Su was overjoyed and felt that he must be the strongest genius of this generation in Xijiang Bay City. Let them take a good look then. Lin Su is not just a playboy who relies on the power of his family to pretend to be a tiger. My evolutionary talent is the strongest. Who would have thought that the title of Xijiang's first genius, which was supposed to be in his bag, was snatched away by a furry boy he had never heard of before? What kind of reincarnation I? It's just sensationalism. 
who said that the first appearance of new pupil surgery must be very strong. Humph, Su Chi, right. Don't let me run into you in the genius war, or else I won't need my lightning to chop you apart. Lin Su was angry and indignant, with a fierce blue and silver light shining in his hand. A crackling sound sounded, and lightning flashed like dragons and snakes, wandering through the void, you. Have you really become an evolutionist? XC District, in an ordinary residential building looking at the silver medal his son was wearing on his chest, Sue Darren widened his eyes, almost unable to believe it. Oh my goodness! This is an evolutionist. The group of people with the highest status and best treatment in the new century, only 10% of them have the hope of awakening their superpowers and becoming evolutionists. They are ordinary people from the Sioux family for three generations, and in their son's generation, they finally have a true dragon. Silly, don't even see whose son it is. On the side, Su Mu Heelan, who had already known everything, smiled and held Su Chi's hand, looking proud. Su Chi was helpless and muttered to herself, you didn't have such a calm attitude when you knew earlier, but now you're talking about dad instead. But he still enjoys the current family atmosphere quite a bit. I didn't feel much family affection in my past life, but in this life, I came to Blue Star and experienced complete fatherly and maternal love. And guarding this kind of emotion is also the fundamental driving force for him to become stronger with all his heart. Dad, this time I have become an evolutionist. According to our country's preferential policy for evolutionists, we can move to Jinlan community in Nanching district. Su Chi raised a string of keys in his hand, which was given to him by the school after his awakening this afternoon, and can be considered a treatment that every evolutionist has. Nanching district is the best and most prosperous area in Xijiang Base City, inhabited by wealthy individuals and elites from all walks of life. And Jinlan community, even in Nanching district, is well dot known. Because those who can live in Jinlan community are all evolutionists. And most evolutionists do not have this qualification, they are mostly senior evolutionists with LV3 or above. Most evolutionists are not qualified to live in, like Xijiang No. 2 Middle School, which successfully awakened more than 50 evolutionists. But only Su Qi and four other talents with military level or above talents have obtained the right to live in Jinlan community in Nanching District. Jinlan Community Su Daren took a deep breath, this time even He Lan beside him couldn't help but exclaim in surprise. This is a super luxurious community that they would never dare to imagine in their lifetime. They have worked hard for most of their lives, and the money they have saved is estimated to not even be able to afford a bathroom in Jinlan community. Being able to move to the Nanching district during their lifetime is already the highest goal that ordinary people can imagine. And now, can they also live in Jinlan community? End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Forging Breathing Method You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Forging Breathing Method Father's Son is Precious I didn't expect that Sue Darren would waste most of his life and still have today. After a while, Sue's father, who had finally regained his senses, sighed and his gaze towards Su Chi was filled with relief. He didn't feel any discomfort about eating his son's soft food. Just kidding, this is my son. What's wrong with me living with my son? Who can still say that it's not impossible at all? If you have the ability, you can also give birth to an evolutionist's son. Su Chi smiled slightly. A single family villa in Jinlan community is just a standard configuration for genius awakeners in Xijiang Base City. In fact, the school also provides high rewards for genius evolutionists. 20 million blue star coins. As the most beautiful cub of this year's Awakening Conference, Su Chi also received a 20 million blue star coin reward from the school. In addition, he is also the top-ranked genius in the entire Xijiang Bay City, and the Bay City official also has a reward of 10 million blue star coins. That's a whopping 30 million blue star coins. This amount is enough for ordinary families to look up to, even some evolutionists do not have so many assets. 
As expected, Su Darren and his son were once again deeply shocked and they found out that their son was now a genuine millionaire. Be well behaved. No wonder the evolutioners are the most profitable group of people in the new century. Their own sons have just awakened, and someone has already sent money however, Su Darren also understood that ordinary evolutionists do not receive such good treatment, and his own son's ability to awaken may not be average. You can manage this money yourself. We don't need so much here, and besides, we still have some savings at home. Don't worry about us. After a moment of silence, Su's father sighed and looked at Su Chi, who had grown up completely, with a hint of worry in his eyes. Although I am not an evolutionist, I also know what is happening outside now. Su Chi remained silent. Although evolutionists enjoy superior power, they also have responsibilities and obligations that they must shoulder. In the future, you will need to frequently leave the base city and go to the life penalty zone to fight against those terrifying monsters. This money will serve as your startup fund, make sure to prepare well. Father Sue's voice fell low and he gave detailed advice. Mother Sue beside her also had a worried expression on her face, tightly gripping her precious son's hand and pursing her lips without saying a word. As humans of the new century, it is impossible not to know how dangerous this world is. Video images of life forbidden zone monsters are everywhere on television and the internet. These monsters are all terrifying, and their numbers are almost endless. They have been hovering around human territory, eyeing human civilization. Why can human civilization maintain internal peace despite being surrounded by monsters like this? Is it not the result of generations of evolutionists fighting one after another in bloody battles? Every successfully awakened evolutionist, after undergoing initial rest and exercise, needs to leave the base city, leave the protection of human civilization, go deep into the forbidden zone of life, and fight against monsters. On the one hand, it is to alleviate the pressure on human territorial boundaries, and on the other hand, it is also to hone the strength of the evolutionists. The stimulation of life and death can best enhance the strength of the evolutionists. Only by enhancing the strength of the evolutionists can we protect human civilization for a long time. So why are evolutionists able to enjoy such high treatment while most ordinary people have no objections? That's because they all fought it out with their own lives. This is the treatment that evolutionists should have received. Now, Su Chi has also become an evolutionist. Although it is a great thing to honor their ancestors, it also means that their sons must always be accompanied by danger in the future, always in danger of life and death. From this perspective, as parents, Su's parents are a bit reluctant for Su Chi to awaken successfully, don't worry, although becoming an evolutionist requires going to the forbidden zone of life to fight and explore, it's not that fast either. I still have time to improve myself. Su Chi quickly comforted the two elders when he saw that their emotions were not right. And all newcomers have an adaptation period. According to the rules of human civilization, I will only fight in the scorching summer after attending the awakening conference one month later. It will be after the genius battle that I truly enter the forbidden zone of life to explore. Su's father sighed and didn't say anything, just patted Su Chi's shoulder. Everything is in silence at night, in the bedroom Su Chi sat cross-legged on the bed, meditating with his eyes closed. A breathing technique came to his mind, and at this moment, Su Chi was following the guidance technique recorded in the breathing technique, step by step controlling the muscle cells throughout the body to breathe at a specific frequency, which could accelerate the absorption speed of the spiritual energy of heaven and earth. This breathing method is called forging body breathing method which is the most comprehensive and easy to popularize and practice breathing method created by many top evolutionists in human civilization over the past few decades. The first lesson that students of the new century learn in school is the exercise breathing method. This breathing technique is divided into two parts. The first part is about physical exercise, which involves constantly practicing the 9981 specific movements recorded in it to hone the body, increase the efficiency of unconsciously absorbing the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, make one's body stronger, 
and more easily awaken superpowers. This is a compulsory course for people in the scorching summer, even throughout the entire human civilization. This heaven and earth originally had the same history as Su Chi's earth in his past life, but due to the huge change of heaven and earth nearly a hundred years ago, it ultimately went in a completely different direction. Various monsters are one of them. The spiritual energy of heaven and earth is also one of the changes. The physical fitness of people in the new century is generally stronger than that of people on earth in previous lifetimes, because they live in the air that contains the spiritual energy of heaven and earth all year round, and their bodies unconsciously absorb the spiritual energy, thereby improving the overall physical fitness of the people. However, this kind of unconscious absorption by the body is too slow, even for decades, it does not improve much. But practicing the body forging breathing method is different. Through these 9981 body forging movements, this process can be greatly accelerated, thereby greatly improving human physical fitness. Su Qi has never slacked off in the past decade, and his various movements of body building and breathing techniques have long been perfected. His physical fitness far exceeds the healthy physique of his previous life. Even compared to the top special forces, it is not inferior. However, even so, he still belongs to the category of ordinary people at this time. Not considered extraordinary. Only by practicing the evolutionary guidance technique, using superpowers as a guide, can we absorb the spiritual energy of heaven and earth into our body, and refine it into our own spiritual power. Only in this way can the entire genetic evolution of life be promoted, and it can be considered as officially crossing the threshold of evolution. LV1 Evolutioner Only awakened individuals who have honed their own spiritual power can be called true evolutionists, known as LV1 evolutionists. At that time, we truly broke free from the limitations of ordinary people. The evolution of life levels will greatly improve our physical fitness once again, prevent all kinds of diseases, and even extend our lifespan. Evolutioners, the reason why they are so crazy is that extraordinary power is just one of them. But more importantly, lifespan. As long as one constantly cultivates and evolves, the higher the level of the evolutioner, the higher the level of life, and the corresponding lifespan will also increase. This is a temptation that most people find difficult to resist. Evolutionary Guidance Techniques At this moment, what Su Qi is practicing is the second part of the body forging breathing technique. Evolutionary Guidance Technique Seeking Recommendation, End of this Chapter Chapter 8 Moving to a New Home You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Moving to a new home evolutionary guidance can only be practiced by evolutionists who have awakened their superpowers. Ordinary people can only practice the body forging technique in the previous section, but cannot practice the guidance technique. However, now that Su Qi has officially awakened his reincarnation eye, it can also be considered his superpower and recognized by the rules of this world. Naturally, he can also practice guidance techniques. In the past decade or so, Su Qi has become familiar with the cultivation method of guidance, and all he lacks is the key to superpowers. So the entire process went exceptionally smoothly. Moreover, evolutionary guidance is a very magical thing that can exhibit increasingly strong effects based on a person's awakened superpower level. For example, some low-dot-level superpowers, such as ordinary level ones, serve as cultivation guides with low quality, and the cultivation speed of guidance techniques will also be relatively average. Normally, it may take a day and a night to refine the first strand of innate spiritual power. The military level superpower quality is much stronger, only taking about 12 hours. Better than city level superpowers, about 6 hours. For national level, 3 hours is already considered a very fast quenching speed. But the time for Su Qi to refine the first strand of his own spiritual power reached a terrifying one hour. Yes, he successfully forged his first strand of life spiritual power in just one hour. The exact time is 59 minutes and 32 seconds. 
This speed can only be achieved by the highest level of, opponent level, superpower awakeners according to records. This also indirectly indicates that Su Qi's initial estimate was not problematic. Reincarnation I, in this world, it is truly the highest level of realm level superpower. This result made Su Qi both happy and relieved. Even if he had great confidence in the reincarnation I, he couldn't be certain without actual comparison. After all, according to some information he has learned, the so dot called boundary level superpowers in this world are indeed incredibly strong. To some extent, it is not inferior to the reincarnation I, and there are even some records that are even more exaggerated than the reincarnation I. After refining the spiritual power of one's own life, the power of the reincarnation I can also be preliminarily demonstrated. Su Qi sensed the changes in his body, and the first strand of his own spiritual power was weak but incredibly pure, constantly growing. Using this force to stimulate the reincarnation I is much stronger than simply using his physical strength to force it. The spiritual power of one's own life is like the chakra of the Hokage world, which is the foundation of everything. Without chakra, even divine level blood heirs like the reincarnation I cannot play a significant role. That's not enough. The true LV1 evolutionists have opened up spiritual wells, and their spiritual power is much greater than what I have now. Su Qi sank his mind, closed his eyes, and tried to open his own spiritual well according to the methods recorded in the evolutionary guidance technique. Ling Jing is the source of power for the evolutionists. Specially used to store, transform, and refine one's own spiritual power. The more spiritual power and higher quality there is in the spiritual well, the stronger the strength of natural evolutionists. The stronger the spiritual power, the greater the power that evolutionists can unleash from their superpowers. So spiritual power is very important. Ling Jing, open up. Opening up a spiritual well is not difficult. As long as one awakens their superpowers and has the correct method of opening up, any evolutionist who takes some time can succeed. With the ability of reincarnation eyes, Su Qi's speed in opening up a spiritual well naturally far exceeds that of ordinary people. In just ten minutes, I successfully opened up my own spiritual well. Although it is still empty now, as long as we persist in practicing daily guidance techniques and refining spiritual power in the future, sooner or later more and more will fill the entire spiritual well. There was nothing to say overnight. Upon awakening his superpowers, Su Qi immersed himself in the process of spiritual cultivation without feeling tired at all. After a night of cultivation, the effect was gratifying. His spiritual well had already filled one dot fifth of his body. This is an incredibly terrifying speed. Because opening up the spirit well represents officially becoming an LV1 evolutioner, surpassing ordinary people. And every time the spiritual well is filled, it represents that the spiritual power has reached the limit of the current level and can be broken through to the next stage. LV1, LV2, LV3 until the highest LV9. Each level represents a life evolution and an increase in strength. The further one goes, the more difficult it becomes, and even the superpowers with insufficient grade have no potential to break through to the peak. After all, Su Qi possesses the highest level of world-level superpowers, with the highest growth potential and even the fastest cultivation speed. In just one night, we have completed the journey of ordinary evolutionists for several months or even years. At this speed, even if it becomes increasingly difficult later on, Su Qi can reach the limit of LV1 evolutioner and start breaking through LV2 within a week. It has to be said that the level of superpowers is really important, no wonder people value them so much, refreshing and refreshing. Su Qi opened his eyes and grinned. The spiritual power filled his body made his reincarnation eyes restless, as if eager to unleash his divine power. It's fast, it won't take too long. Su Qi stroked his eyes lightly, his gaze filled with the proud sharpness of a young man. One month later, it will be the time for the reincarnation eye to show its power. After a brief handling, Su Qi ran out to help. Today is considered a big day for their family. 
happy housewarming. They are preparing to leave this rudimentary small house and officially move to the exclusive Jean Lawn community of elite evolutionists. For this, Sue Darren and Hilan work tirelessly all night, packing several large boxes of things that should be taken or not. Well, I called a car early in the morning and started moving. Yo, sister he, you're moving out now. Brother Sue, are you? Before leaving, the move alarmed the neighbors of the neighboring families, and each household poked their heads out, looking at the big family and asked in surprise. Yeah, my son happened to become an evolutionist yesterday. The government provides subsidies and rewards for a house in Jean Lawn community. We are thinking about moving in this morning. Neighbors have been getting along for several years and are familiar with each other. Hilan greeted them and responded one by one, and the smile on his face never stopped. Hiss. Has Chiga become an evolutionist? This is really a great thing to honor our ancestors. Brother Chi is really amazing. Jin Lan community, it's the most luxurious elite community in Nanching district. It's said that the houses inside are all single-family villas. Brother Su has finally made it through. Having such a good son, isn't it a blessing? Upon hearing that Su Qi was an evolutionist and even rewarded a house in Jin Lan community, the surrounding neighbors couldn't hold their breath and were all amazed and envious. At the same time, I feel a bit sour in my heart. Why isn't this my son? Sigh. Where and where, this child is also lucky, lucky, ha uh -huh. Antley, come to my house to play tomorrow. Today, I'll go pack and tidy up first. Zhao Gu, I'm flattering you. I'll come back to play chess with you another day. In this way, amidst the congratulations and envy of the surrounding neighbors, Su's parents exchanged pleasantries and bid them farewell, with a bright smile on their faces. Faced with these neighbors and elders who had watched him grow up since childhood, Su Qi dared not neglect them, bowing and humbly responding. In this way, Su Qi and his family, surrounded by the blessings of their neighbors, walked downstairs step by step, got in the car, and officially left the old house that had been with them for over a decade, starting a new life. However, the legendary story of a real dragon emerging from the pile of mortals and ascending to the sky with his family, becoming a figure in the upper echelons of society, gradually spread in this residential community from that day on, end of this chapter. Chapter 9 Jean Lan Community You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Jean Lan Community is this Jean Lan Community Our Future Home Sue Darren and Hilan were stunned as they looked at the exquisitely decorated and luxurious single-family villa in front of them. It seems unbelievable that this is my future home. Jean Lan Community is really too big and luxurious. It is not only located in the busiest southern district of Xijiang Bay City, but also in the center of the city. Each household is a single-family villa covering an area of 800 to 900 square meters, with three floors and a basement. Not only is the decoration exquisite and gorgeous, but various leisure equipment is also available. The outdoor balcony, green lawn, and even a separate swimming pool dazzle the elderly. This is our future home. Su Qi was not too surprised, just smiled and confirmed this fact. After receiving recognition, Su's parents, carrying their luggage of all sizes, exclaimed as they moved into their new home and immediately began to decorate the front and back. But Su Qi didn't have much to do. After tidying up his room, he was kicked out by the second elder. Su Qi shook his head helplessly and then looked at the environment of his future residential area with a hint of novelty. Jean Lan community is truly a first-class evolutionary community, with excellent greenery and fresh air. Compared to the original residential buildings, it can be said to be above and below the sky. At the same time, Su Qi noticed some playgrounds around him, some of whom came out for a walk with their whole family, mostly evolutionists. Evolutioners and ordinary people have completely different auras, as long as they have the intention, they can basically distinguish them. Because evolutionary beings have already separated themselves from ordinary life, 
their genetic level is even higher, and their temperament is very unique. The stronger the evolutionist, the higher the level of life, and the stronger the aura. Unless deliberately hidden, it really stands out in the crowd and can be seen at a glance. The level of evolutionists in Jean Lon community is quite high, I feel like not a single one is a junior evolutioner. Su Chi was amazed in his heart. Are you new here, little brother? Suddenly, while Su Chi was observing the evolutionists around him, a thick voice rang out. Su Chi quickly turned his head and saw a burly young man grinning at him with a gentle attitude. Yes, I guess moving in today. The burly young man nodded. No wonder you're an evolutionary genius who just woke up yesterday, judging by your eyesight and age. Su Chi waved his hand and smiled. What kind of genius, it's just media hype. Taking advantage of the situation, he extended his hand. My name is Su Chi, I don't know how to address Big Brother. The burly young man was also very generous, reaching out to grip it. The strong force made Su Chi's face slightly change. My name is Wu Li, a few years older than you. You can call me Angkor. Weak. Are you afraid you're not at Versailles? Su Chi's mouth twitched, took back his hand, and rubbed it quietly, roast from the bottom of his heart. This brute force is much stronger than myself, even if it has already converged a lot, it still makes me feel unable to resist it. I'm afraid his superpowers are related to his strength suddenly, Su Chi's thoughts turned and he didn't show anything on his face. He just warmly called out Angkor. Ha, huh, getting to know each other by chance is like being friends. If you have anything in the future, feel free to come to Angkor. I still have some face in this Jinlan community. Wu Li laughed heartily and patted his chest, saying. But soon, he realized it, ha. Huh? You said your name is Su Chi. Wu Li widened his eyes. Is it Su Chi from Shijiang No. 2 Middle School who woke up with a brand new pupil technique yesterday? Su Chi felt helpless. It seemed that the official announcement from Shijiang yesterday had a significant impact, and he unconsciously gained fame in the base city. It's me. I'll go. Upon hearing Su Chi's confession in person, Wu Li immediately became excited. Ha, huh, I didn't expect you to be that Su Chi. It's really fate. Good kid, I heard that your awakened pupillary surgery has great potential. Just as you awakened, you were rated as the first genius of this year's Xijiang base city at the city level. You really have a set of skills. Wu Li laughed heartily and patted Su Chi's shoulder with every word he said. The tremendous force made Su Chi's face bitter, and he quickly dodged, saying humbly. Where and where, all rely on peers to compliment. He really didn't expect anyone else to be so good. He just showed a small hand and won the championship directly. Of course, he dare not say so, afraid of being beaten to death, are there no city-level evolutionists here? Su Chi asked curiously. Jin Lan community is one of the top elite evolutionary communities in Xijiang Base City, and all who live here are powerful evolutionary beings. There should also be some talented individuals, there are indeed some, but not many, just three or four, and they have all been practicing for decades, ranking lower than yours. Wu Li waved his hand, seemingly indifferent. And you were initially ranked 38th on the superpower sequence list, second on the city level, even among the top 30 types of city level superpowers. Where else can I compare to you? Besides, you still have a brand new ability that never appeared before. Su Chi remained dumbfounded. Well, it seems that even in this elite Jinlan community, city level superpowers are still extremely rare. Wu Li is a cheerful man, not very old this year. He is only 28 years old, but he has been an evolutionist for 10 years, with rich experience and strong strength. Nowadays, he is already an LV4 evolutionist, and there are too many compared to Su Chi Chiang, who is only LV1. Brother Su Chi, you will definitely venture into the forbidden zone of life in the future. Instead of finding a team that you don't know or understand, why not join my team and act together? 
it's better to have a companion to take care of each other. At first sight, the two became friends and had a great conversation, and soon they became brothers. For Wu Li, a young genius with great potential and strong abilities is very popular. Taking advantage of the opportunity now, he will definitely establish good relationships. If Su Qi rises in the future, it will be beneficial and harmless to himself. It's hard to say that he can still achieve success in one step so he directly invited Su Qi to join his team. And Su Qi did not refuse either. After all, he had just awakened and had just become an evolutionist. Whether it was his combat experience or familiarity with the life penalty area, he was far inferior to Wu Li. In the early stages, having a reliable and strong elder brother to lead can save a lot of trouble. No problem, I'm afraid brother Wu will find me with low spiritual power, uh. Su Qi smiled. How could it be? The Su Qi brothers have awakened their city-level superpowers. Who dares to despise you? That's settled. Wu Li chuckled, but what he said was the truth. With Su Qi's talent, not to mention that he is just an LV4 evolutioner, even those LV5 and even LV6 level advanced evolutioners with eyes above the top will warmly welcome him. Su Qi nodded, but then seemed to have thought of something and added. But not now. I'll have to wait for a month before I return from the imperial capital. Wu Li also woke up. Are you talking about the genius battle in a month's time? Su Qi nodded, with a gleam in his eyes. That's right, we only fight in the scorching summer. Seeking collections, recommendations, comments, end of this chapter. Chapter 10 Only Battle in the Hot Summer You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Only Battle in the Hot Summer Only in the Scorching Summer Can We Fight This is an annual event in the Scorching Summer, a competition participated by thousands of universities and hundreds of thousands of early awakened evolutionists. Every novice evolutioner who has just awakened their superpowers through the Awakening Conference must participate. On a school-by-school -school basis and on an individual-by-individual -individual basis, we will select and eliminate the fittest at all levels, and work together to compete for this year's top leader, the strongest genius. All forces throughout the scorching summer will pay attention to the mega-event, with far dot reaching influence. For ordinary geniuses like Su Qi, it is also a great stage to showcase their talents. You should know that talent is important, but how to quickly realize your talents and transform them into tangible strength. It is also crucial. And in this step, besides self-cultivation, external resources and treasures are also very important. Since the beginning of the new century, the great changes in blue stars, the revival of spiritual energy in heaven and earth, and even the opening of various spatial cracks have brought many monsters that do not exist on blue stars. At the same time, many magical treasures have also emerged, playing a crucial role in the rise of human civilization's evolutionists. Spiritual herbs, divine medicines, rare spiritual materials. Countless. However, the resources explored by human civilization are also limited. Naturally, priority should be given to the group of people with the highest talent and qualifications, so that they can grow quickly and ensure the continuation of human civilization. It's a great stage to only fight in the scorching summer. The higher the ranking, the better the qualifications, and the stronger the strength, the better the rewards one can receive. Even able to attract the attention of the top forces in the scorching summer, and with good luck, able to directly join one of the top big forces, from then on, resources will not worry about background. That is the true Dupeng rising with the wind in one day, soaring up 90,000 miles. Take one step to the sky. Such a grand event, Su Qi naturally cannot miss it. Not to mention the title of the strongest Jianjiao in this summer, just those rewards are enough to make him tempted. After all, he is a genius for promotion, and the official officials in the scorching summer are naturally generous and generous in their efforts. The rewards that rank high, not to mention these newcomers, are extremely coveted even by those advanced evolutionists. If you go on adventures and want to obtain such a treasure, 
you need to go deep into the forbidden zone of life time and time again, and constantly work hard to get it. But only in the scorching summer, they only need to compete with their contemporaries, and their lives are not in danger. This is the only chance, Su Chi naturally wants to seize it. The game of genius is indeed worth fighting for. Not to mention the official rewards obtained after entering the finals, but also the first time entering the life penalty area, the game of genius may be the safest experience. Wu Li sighed. Su Chi nodded, knowing that he was right. Genius Wars is indeed the safest time for these newly awakened evolutionists and beginners to encounter the life penalty zone. The forbidden zone of life refers to all areas outside the territory of human civilization that are not under human control and are heavily inhabited by monsters. Every forbidden zone of life hides almost endless monsters. Or terrifying zombies, or ferocious mutated monsters, even terrifying extraterrestrial beasts and evil abyss monsters. Full of danger, accompanied by despair of death every moment. Once, the new evolutionists of human civilization entered the forbidden zone of life, but due to their lack of experience and strength, it was actually very dangerous. Even if an experienced team is willing to lead with them, the mortality rate once exceeded 44%. In order to reduce the chance of premature death among the evolutionists, Yen Xia founded the Genius War and set the selection of the first round of the Genius War in the life penalty zone. Of course, it was swept once by the top evolutionists of human civilization and specifically designated as a safe zone for newcomers to experience. In the safe zone, although there are also a large number of monsters, after strict screening, they are basically just the most ordinary monsters, and all higher dot level monsters are killed. The purpose is to train new players, so that they can see blood and avoid losing too much when facing monsters in the life penalty area. As long as your luck is not too bad and you don't act too recklessly, the selection of the first round of the talent battle in the safe zone is relatively safe. And it is precisely because of the experience of genius battles that the mortality rate of newcomers entering the life penalty area has significantly decreased, only about 12%. This is also the significance of genius warfare. Although Su Qi has been a person for two generations, he has never experienced any major scenes, let alone fighting monsters. He also needs to be tempered and grow. Genius battle is the best stage. Su Chi brothers, although the genius battle is very safe, we cannot be careless. After all, it is our first time facing those monsters, and we must make the necessary preparations. Wu Li straightened his expression and said solemnly. A safe zone does not mean there is absolutely no danger. No matter how ordinary, it is still a ferocious monster that only evolutionists can deal with. The most ordinary monsters have strength comparable to LV-1 evolutioners, and they are extremely numerous. If they accidentally get surrounded, even experienced evolutioners like them can be very tricky. And newcomers like Su Chi, once surrounded, are almost sure to die. Su Qi's face slightly straightened and he nodded lightly. He naturally knew that although the monsters were strong, what made human civilization even more desperate was their numbers, almost endless. He is just the most basic LV-1 evolutionist at this time, even if he has reincarnation eyes, he cannot be invincible directly. Should we stick to it in the early stages or should we stick to it, for the first time entering the forbidden zone of life, I believe you also know what to bring. Wu Li's face was serious and he gave careful advice to Su Qi. Combat boots, weapons, protective helmets, special backpacks. These are all essential items to wear. But the most important thing is still the psychic set. A good spiritual set can save lives in critical moments. Wu Li emphasized, and Su Qi listened attentively, nodding in agreement. The psychic suit is a complete set of combat clothing, which has been developed by countless evolutionary researchers at the New Century Evolutionary Research Institute for many years and has super strong defense capabilities. Not only does it possess a defensive power far exceeding that of old century armor, but the material is also special, blending rare spiritual materials from the new century, with extremely strong toughness and breath ability, just like a normal mountaineering suit. 
lightweight, comfortable, and highly defensive. Various benefits have made the psychic suit an essential adventure equipment for all evolutionists as soon as it was released. There are only ordinary level monsters in the safe zone, and their strength is not high. A first level psychic set is enough, and you may not be able to afford higher quality ones. Wu Li thought for a moment and said. Su Qi had no choice but to stall and couldn't afford it. The psychic set has extremely strong functions and a high cost, so the price will not be cheap. A first dot level spiritual set alone requires 10 million blue star coins. If it weren't for the powerful new pupil technique of awakening the reincarnation eye, both the school and the city officials would have huge bonuses, and Su Qi wouldn't even be able to afford a first dot level spiritual power set. The first level psychic suit can already defend against the attacks of most ordinary level monsters, even higher dot level high dot risk monsters have a certain effect. The probability of high dot risk monsters appearing in the safe zone is very low, and they are almost swept away by the advanced evolutionists of human civilization as soon as they are born. So the first level psychic set is completely sufficient. As for the second level psychic suit, its defense is stronger, enough to defend against the attacks of the vast majority of high dot risk level monsters, and it also has a certain resistance ability against disaster level monsters. But the price has also soared to 1 billion blue star coins. This price directly discourages many junior evolutionists, only senior evolutionists can afford it. Su Qi, don't think about it for now, end of this chapter.